Hi there everyone, my name is Lyric. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to do an energy reading for the sun sign of Scorpio. Uh, we'll take a look at um, past and present energies. Um, I'll be using oracle cards and tarot cards. Um, and if any intuitive messages come as well, I'll, I'll share that with you. Um, if you're watching this video uh, please, and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. If after viewing the video, you feel guided to book a new, sorry, my sister just texted me, just came up on my phone. Uh, that was weird. I was reading her message. Uh, if you're guided to book a reading with me, I'll have the details in my description box for you if you're interested in doing that, okay? So messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know? Messages for Scorpio for their highest good. Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Okay. And the first one we have is darkness and moon. Um, this is a beautiful card. It's the number seven. And I'm gonna I need to um, check out what the numbers mean more um, specifically because it's the number seven. So it's just um, you know, divine right divinity, um, source, uh, and the moon represents um, the mother archetype. And um, what I'm really feeling at this time, um, Scorpio, is that now is the time to embrace your, um, your femininity, to recognize the nurturing and caring side of yourself. Um, if you're a man, it could be, um, that could be something that you struggle with because of all the, um, the way that our society is and how it's kind of like, you know, we see men are, portrayed in a certain light just like women are portrayed in a certain light but it's not the natural state of who we are um in a lot of ways we're programmed um as human beings and especially if we indulge in um if we overindulge in really trashy media and um even with you know not to say your friends are trashy but like it just really um plagues your mind and it plagues your, your sense of who you are as a human and um, just what I'm really feeling with this card is to embrace that part of you. Um, you know, be um, be loving and tender. It's okay to uh, to have feelings. Okay, um, is what I'm getting. If you're a man watching this video, um, if you're a female um, watching this video, it could be. Um, I, I feel that source is. Um, trying to clue you in onto what your feelings are telling you, trying to, um, you know, our feelings are a, um, they represent um, what's happening to us and, and um, they, they have t things to tell us. It's not, I mean, we have to be objective as well, but, um, you know, if you're feeling down a lot or if you're feeling lethargic or if you're feeling, um, you know, not lovely. Like, think about why that, what's happening around you that's causing that. Is that literally emanating from you? Or is there something being impressed upon you that's causing you grief and causing you heartache? So let's get one more. And I've got ignition, fire. So what I'm feeling with this card is um, there's time, there's something that needs your attention that you need to take action on that um, there's a task at hand, and um, I'm, I'm not sure what that task is, but it's um, Source is calling your attention to take action at this time. And we'll pull some more cards to find out what that may be. And it's funny, the cards um, are seven and eight, so they're one right after the other. And so this task might include um, something um, being revealed to you through your feelings or your intuition, something that um, you've been ignoring or something that you are aware of subconsciously or something that's more um, subtle. And you've just been like, oh, no, I just, you know, I think too much. I o overthink things. I, um, you know, people, I'm uh, being obsessive or, and when you, sometimes, I mean, there are people that have obsessive thoughts and obsessive thinking, but sometimes it's because you need to take action on something. Like it's re recurring in your mental faculties because something needs to be done about it that you might not consciously be, understand it. But subconsciously, your mind is trying to help you and is trying to um, uh, get you to take to take to take action. So um, yeah, so that's all I have for that. Let's get some. Um, I'm gonna pull 
uh, these cards for you. More messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know for their highest good? And messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. You have the white stag, shape-shifting, support, other world. So this could be um, the deer or the stag, could be a spirit animal of yours. Um, you could live in a place that is um, lush and verdant and green. Um, it could be um, also uh, this card is um, asking you to be a bit more resilient and to, um, and to be more flexible in your life that, um, that perhaps you've been um, struggling against something or unwilling to, um, to kind of go with the flow in, on, on something. And it's kind of, uh, you know, it's one of those, um, it's, a, it's a tricky situation Sometimes it's good to just go with the flow and um, run with the water or whatever, but other times it's not okay to um, to just to follow along. Like sometimes you have good, very good reason to be resistant and to resist. So um, it's up to the individual to exercise that intuition and to extra exercise that um, that mental faculty and to and to. Um, to trust sometimes what our um, what our instincts are telling us is what I'm getting. We'll get one more. Fawn, beginnings, willingness, opportunities. So a fawn um, is, I don't know if it's a, a female deer or if it's a baby deer. I feel like it's a baby deer and you have the white stag. So um, I'm gonna pull the book on fawn. Um, beginnings, willingness, and opportunities because, and it's the number three. So, um, you're being, you're, you're definitely, you're being called to do something that, um, yeah, but I'm going to pull the book on that because let's see, let's check it out what the book says. I feel like I should check out the book. Uh, not the right one. And I'll read it to you. Fawn was the first being I encountered when entering the wor world of the Fae and became the first to be put onto paper. She welcomed me with open arms. The Triskel symbol in this circle is believed to um, represent the important energies forever in motion. I'll show you really quick. This... Um, this is a, called a triskel, and it does, if you take a look at it, it does look like it. You could see why it would mean like forever motion or something like that. Okay, so, um, okay. The triskel symbol in the circle is believed to represent the important energies forever in motion, progress and completion. Everything is a never-ending cycle of flow into one another. Where there is no start or finish, finish it just is. Fawn represents the welcome of new beginnings, a new way of thinking, a new way of being, a new way of seeing life. Many worlds coexist within our own, and many beings reside there waiting to help us if we ask. We must allow ourselves to welcome new opportunities and keep our minds open to new things, even if it pushes the boundaries of our logical left brain thinking. We must learn to apply this way of truly seeing when approaching anything new for us to fully allow growth on any level. Well, whether that be emotional, spiritual, or mental. Entering into anything new can be overwhelming, stressful, and even traumatic. However, the more we learn to understand things from a different viewpoint, or even just to allow without understanding at all, the more we allow the change to happen, change can happen, whether we like it or not. But it always has the same outcome. It shifts us to a different place where we have the opportunities to learn and grow. We cannot control what happens to us, but we can control our reaction to it. We either embrace it and accept it fully or we resist. The decision is always yours. But know this, even when you do not know what is on the other side, there is always the possibility of being 
of it being a positive experience. So don't doubt your capabilities of navigating your way through it. So it could be that you're, um, that that just, you know, resonated with you to the core that, um, that change is happening in your life, that you're feeling a little bit um, apprehensive, uh, that you're struggling a little bit at this time. But um, just take on the energies of the fawn. Ask for God, ask for your guides to help you. Um, uh, do your part in the situation. And, um, you know, and we do have those feelings, but don't cling to our feelings, okay? Acknowledge them and let them go. So I'm going to pull the tarot. I'm going to have the Sorcerer's Tarot, which I'm still not um, that familiar, but I want to learn. And that's the only way I'm going to learn is by um, putting myself out there and trying. So let's get one more to go and then we'll pull the cards. So you've got the three of cups, the nine of cups, uh, the king of wands, oh, this is not good. I have to look at the book for this card because I don't know what this card is. Hold on, it's a major arcana. Um, let me look really quick. I apologize. Um, here, let's find it. I really, really apologize there. Um, it's the, oh, that's the Hermit card. I'm surprised this Hermit, I'll show you it. I was thinking it was the Hermit card, but he doesn't have a lantern, which I thought was bizarre, but he does have the crow there. So this is in the um, outcome energies, okay? Um, so in the past, we have the, um, the Three of Cups in your present energy. We have the Nine of Cups and um, the King of Wands. And then in the outcome, we have the Hermit card. So, um, one second here. I am drawing a blank. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to pull some... Tell me more about this Three of Cups, please. What is this Three of Cups for? Because generally the Three of Cups is normally about like a celebration and sort of um, like a good time with others, like um, an emotional connection, celebration, um, you know, activity or something with um, a group of, of friends or people that are like-minded. But I, um, I feel um, an offset. Like I don't really feel that um, this is what that is. So I'm going to um, pull uh, some cards one second. The Seven of Wands and the Four of Wands. So I'm just going to pull all of, all of these ones. Let's see if this helps me. King of Swords. One second here, guys. Um, so... I, I kind of, so, okay. So in the recent past, um, and this, I guess maybe this is more um, coming into your future. Like this isn't um, exactly here just yet, but it's coming. Um, because it, in the recent past, you have the seven of wands and the four of wands. And so what I'm really feeling with that is that you had a, um, I feel like you kind of went through a breakup of some sort, like a um, the losing of a partner. And, um, and I, I feel like the commitment that you had with this partner was, um, semi high level that you, if you guys weren't engaged or married, that, um, you were um, in this relationship for a while. And so, um, yeah, so that you were in this relationship for a while and it ended. And, um, this, the person that, um, ended the relationship with you, you never really saw it coming. It was, um, this person was, um, you know, everything to you. He, um, he represented stability for you. Um, he was um, always reliable and trustworthy. Um, but in the back of your mind, there wasn't like a, a, a deeper emotional connection with this person. 
And um, so what Source is telling me is that it was doomed to not be successful, okay? Um, and you've um, what I'm getting with this um, separation is that you've been um, you've been uh, on your own now for a little while and and processing your breakup and um, and finding your way as like a single person now because you guys were together for quite a while. So um, and you're you know what I'm feeling is that you've been a bit guarded and. Um, just not trusting of things, but you have this um, new energy coming towards you. Um, it looks like, and it's a lot of feminine energy, but it, male or female, it doesn't matter. But you have this new um, energy coming towards you that speaks of, um, of uh, regrouping with um, uh, people that care for you and support you. I don't know necessarily if it, it's a new relationship because there's so many women on the table. I don't feel that it is a new relationship, but something that's gonna sort of um, grab you in the way that um, it, it did when it felt like you were in that relationship, that it's gonna support you in a way, it's going to, um, uh, bring you a, you're going to feel a sense of trust again, that, um, a sense of stability, um, with this new energy. Um, it could be a, a new partner in business. It could be, um, I don't know who this person is going to be to you, but the energy is coming for that. Okay. And I feel that's what this, um, three of cups energy is and this nine of cups energy as well. I'll show you the cards here. Um, and this is, um, you know, this is very, um, and I'm really feeling that, um, in, in this nine of wands, and I really t um, feel that it just foretells that um, this new energy is coming and it's going to spiritually lift you up, that um, you're going to, um, you're going to let your guard down a little bit. Um, with this king of wands it's going to um, cause you to feel re-inspired again it's going to cause you to um, have more fun to be more playful to sort of enjoy um, life a little bit you have the um, this hermit energy and I'm going to pull some clarifying cards because this was in the outcome so um, I, I in a way I feel like um, this hermit energy represents you just kind of like reassessing yourself um, and just really um, owning all the things that um, transpired and just kind of um, assessing yourself in a new way, getting ready to explore a new path in life. Um, this The crow is, um, I'm not sure about the crow exactly, but something about um, he's a spiritual guide and he um, is known to be a spiritual guide. Um, so it, it's something like you're being alerted to um, a new path that you're going to be taking. Um, you might be heading in a new direction that you never would have saw yourself doing like in a million years. Um, so something is, is unfolding for you, something positive um, and something different is what I'm getting. So that's all that I have, um, Scorpio. I'm going to leave the reading where it's at. I'll see you in the next one.